In previous class, we have solved question number one of exercise 3.3. And question number one was related to column method. And now we move on to question number two. So question number two is related to observation method. So this is the second method of finding square of a number. So here, first let us uh, try to find out the easiest way of calculating the square of a number like 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So it's very simple here 100 square first we multiply the number here 1 into 1 is 1 and then how many zeros are here 2 zeros so we write double of 2 that is 4 zero so this is the square of 100 and similarly if you want to find the square of 200 then here first number is 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 then remaining zeros are two zeros so we write double of two that is four zero so this is the square of 200 and similarly square of 500 is 25 and four zero square of 700 is 49 and four zeros and similarly square of 800 is 64 and four zeros so these are the concepts that we require while solving question number two by observation method now let us try to understand observation method by solving problems and the first thing here is we need to know the formula so in observation method we use two formula only one with plus sign so x plus y or square equals to x square plus y square plus twice xy and second formula is x minus y all square equals to x square plus y square minus twice xy so these two formula differ by the plus sign and minus sign so here it is plus minus and here it is plus minus the remaining is same so from exercise 3.3 question number two is find the square of the following numbers using the observation method so number here is given 97 and b is 402 c 105 d 98 and e 308 so here all the numbers that will be given will be around either 100 or 200 or 300 or 400 or 500 just around 100 so how many questions are here question number 2a that is 97 which is around 100 and question number 2c uh, that is 105 which is around 100 and question number d 98 which is also around 100 and this question number 2b is 402 so it is around 400 and this question number E so it is around 300 so first thing we need to split this 97 402 105 98 and 308 such that we can apply one of these two formula so this 97 is around 100 so it can be split 100 minus 3 because 100 minus 3 is 97 only and this 402 it will be 400 plus 2 and similarly here 105 will be 100 plus 5 and similarly 98 will be 100 minus 2 and at last 308 will be 300 plus 8 so in this way first we have to split the numbers and we use the formula accordingly so if there is minus sign here we use formula number 2 and if there is plus sign then we use number one formula so now let us try to solve question number 2a so number here given is 97 so we have to find the square of 97 using observation method so first thing as i have already told you in order to use that formula we have to split this 97 so 97 is around 100 so we can write 100 minus 3 so because of this minus sign here we have to use the formula with minus sign so that is the second formula and the formula is x minus 1 whole square equals to x square plus y square minus twice x y so here our x value is 100 and our y value is 3 and this x equals to 100 and y equals to 3 we need to put here on the right hand side of the formula here our x is 100 so we write 100 square then this plus sign and y is our 3 
So we write 3 square and then minus sign here and then 2 into our x is 100 into y is our 3. So 2 into 100 into 3. Again, just see here, our x is 100, so 100 square plus y is 3, so 3 square minus 2 into x is 100 and y is 3. Then, here, I've already told you how to write the square of 100, 200, 300, so 1 into 1 is 1, and there are 2 zeros, so we write double of 2 is 4 zero. So this is the square of 100, then this plus sign, 3 square is 9, 3 is 9, then minus, and here it's very simple, so we just multiply 2 into 1 is 2, and again into 3 is 6, so we write 6, and here from 100, 2 zeros are remaining, so we write direct 2 zeros. So this is the easiest way to multiply 2 into 1, 2, and 2 into 3 is 6, so we write 6. And then we put double zero and here there are three terms so two terms this 10,009 is with plus sign and this 600 is with minus sign so we do the addition first because we follow the board mass rule so 10,000 plus 9 is 10,009 then minus 600 and at last if you subtract then you will get 9,409 so after simplification, we have got 9,409. So this is our answer. At last what we write is, therefore, square of 97 is 9,409. Now, let me do another question which is not from your exercise 3.3. So I have chosen here number 205 and I am going to find the square of this number. So this 205 is a number around 200 so I can split it as 200 plus 5. So because of plus sign here I have to use the formula which is x plus y all square. So now our x is here 200 y is our 5 we put the value of x and y in the left hand side and in the right hand side our x is 200 here x square so we have to write 200 whole square then this plus sign and here our y is 5 so we have to write y square or 5 square then plus this plus sign and 2 into x into y so 2 into x is 200 into y is 5 we have to write 2 into 200 into 5 so in the right hand side 2 square is 4 and then there are two zeros so we have to write double up to four zeros so this will be the square of 200 which i have already explained before and this plus sign and 5 square is 5 into 5 25 then this plus sign and here we just multiply the number only 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 5 is 20 so we write 20 and then we put this double zero so if you multiply this then it will be 2000 Now here we add 40,000 and 25 and we will get 40,025 then plus we add the third number here 2000 so it will be 42,025 so this is our answer which is a square of 205 so at last what we have to write is therefore square of 200 or 205 square equals to 42,000 and 25 so from exercise 3.3 question number 2a i've already done and the remaining four questions that is 2b 2c 2d and 2e you solve by yourself and if you have any problem you just contact to me